Hey everybody, welcome back. The chess-based gamer is back. Just enjoying some chess. Playing five-minute time controls. 1386. Hey, I'm not an expert when it comes to like chess ratings or whatever. Would you say it's a good sign or a bad sign um, when your bullet rating is 300 points above your rating in any other time control? Would you say that in general you'd consider that to be a positive thing or a negative thing? Would you say it's a positive thing when your opponent is simply copying all of your moves or would you describe that as a negative thing? I like a lot of this. Here's what I like, okay? I go here. You cannot capture me with the knight because we take your queen. That's not how bishops move, but you get the idea. Let's assume you do not. Let's say you do like this. We take, okay? This is a smart move. We take. You probably take with the queen because you have to, you take with the pawn so that I don't get this for free. Holy cow. Now that is a surprise. Hmm, interesting. I, I was honestly banking on it. Well, I feel like I love that you've like exposed this situation. Oh, here's what I like about this, okay? I think you immediately take the opportunity. Like they, if they want to do that trade, by all means, go ahead. I want to be able to get my queen out here. Now, obviously, this is a horrendous move. I also feel like if you'll allow me, this move is insane. Because I could check, but I could also just... that block their bishop off now. I can just show up here and be like, guess what? It's check and then it's mate. I, I don't think that this was the right course of action for them. I think maybe I got a little bit lucky on this one. This will be a 100% game review because I feel like I'm about to be um, complimented. <laughs> just being honest, I feel like... Uh, the, the game is about to say, holy cow, you're a grandmaster. So let's, let's see. I had one mistake in there. I bet it was, I, I bet if away oh, one blunder. If I had to guess, I think my blunder was actually moving my knight here. Because I think if they just take and I take, then it makes my position worse. Well, I don't know. Apparently, that, that's a pretty substantial blunder. But anyway, so we had a lot of book moves there. That's the last book move. Can I tell you? I feel a little vindicated. Blunder. Yeah, wait, this is actually just bad. Because if they take with the knight, which I didn't even consider, I have to take with the pawn, they take with the bishop, I don't have this. I, I have that. And then they move the bishop back, which is much worse. It's not like game losing, but it's pretty bad. They have to take. Yeah, they have to take. I think our position is still okay, but they have to take. So what would we do instead there? I think you probably just... One thing you could do is force the knight back. Assuming there's, there's no engine shenanigans. Play this. They could go here. Then I would go check. They would move their king here or here. I would win a knight. There would be a pin on my knight, but I would be up a piece. And still threatening the mate. So they probably go back to here, and then I have some tempo. Hey! <laughs> oh! Well, well, well. Adjusted accuracy after retries. Let's ignore that after retries part. 99.2. <laughs> well. Then look at this. They're like amazing. Incredible move. We couldn't even think of it ourselves. Okay. So now we got one win. Let's get our losses out of the way. Let's see how it goes. 1393. Playing the Scandinavian. I'm a simple man. In the Scandinavian, I like knight to f3 because knight to c3 scares me. Because then they, they start to threaten this. I, I just don't feel comfortable. I prefer to play a little safer. I mean, I think I told you, like, I'm basically a coward when it comes to playing against gambits and pseudo gambits. I want you gone. How do you feel about this? If they take, I take with the queen. If they play like knight to c6, I take the bishop. I mean, we're threatening like a... Yeah, okay. If, if they play knight to c6, I take. They're going to play this next. Part of me wants to go like here. 
But I think our knights are getting, you know, out in front of their, their skis. You play this and I got nothing. I mean, I'm a, I'm a simple man. I think you can get away with d3, get the bishop out there, or here maybe. I would totally take. That's, I, I feel like that's great for me. Their pawn structure is very scuffed. Next thing I'm thinking, I don't know if they're going to play bishop to d7, I think, or e7. I think that would be their best move. But I am thinking that either way, I play this. Maybe I should have played this first, but I got a nice little threat here. They, you could just play that. That seems okay. But then if, what if I play this? What, a, what an interesting situation. Now I got a lot of pressure on this. Okay, queen came up. Now, now you got to think. Because I could play knight to e4. If they were to take, I would take. I love this. If they do that. I take, they take, their knight's still here. I take, we got this pawn set up back. I think we got tempo, but we did trade a knight. No, we didn't trade a knight for a bishop. We actually, no, we, we traded equivalently. And if they don't do anything to resolve it, we just take. They take with the pawn, maybe. I just think we have a better position. I'm not competent enough to tell you why. If I were them, they should do this. But actually, now, okay, so now they, they're threatening my rook. But I'm like, is there something I can do to annoy them? Actually, I, even then, we lose a pawn out of that. I don't think this is that bad. Because I think the strength we got... So our, we, I was definitely very guilty of what I'm always very guilty of, which is making a cool move that actually loses us material. I mean, we're stacking, man. We're stacking here. We're stacking here. We're down a minute. We're down a pawn, but I'm feeling good. Well, I definitely don't want to just give you a free pawn. This doesn't give us enough, and we got to move our king at some point. But they can't move this rook. This rook is fundamentally trapped. I'm not even sweating that in the slightest. They're going to come threaten this pawn. We can always push this to defend that pawn with the rook. We still can't take here, but if we, do, if we reposition our queen a little bit, I don't think they're going to stack the file. If we reposition our queen a little bit, we can start to talk about it. And we can threaten the mate. Like, they push, I go here. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> it's an interesting move. This seems like the one where you want to think it out. I'm worried, like, I go here, they go there. No, because we, we might lose. Check this out, okay? Here, here, I take the pawn. They take my rook. I take their rook. They play queen here. No, maybe that's totally fine. Maybe we gain a pawn at the risk of almost being checkmated. <laughs> we need to move our king to h1 at some point, or play h3. Hmm, okay. This is surprising to me. We gotta get some time back. We're, this is a real pressure point for us. That's not good. But there's a part of me that's like, dude, what about, hold on. This starts to go sicko mode, or it does, I don't know. Okay, we need to resolve. Now we can move this rook, which is very important. They're trying to get their own king out there. Understandable. They're up a pawn. We have to remember that. We don't just want to trade down. I, I can't take this, but I can threaten this. But if they take this, I have to take here. Mm, or not. I don't know. I think I, I, I have to take... Oh, then they take here. I don't know. But then I take here. And I'm covering this. I don't know, man. It's, a, it's not even that complicated. It's just a little, dare I say, it's a little sus. And now, actually, we got a great amount of pressure down here. We just got to be careful about... You got to take. Let me, let me look at this. So if I take... 
I feel no, we don't have a checkmate here. We gotta get, we gotta get your butt out of this position. If we take here, keep the pressure on here. I know we're running out of time. <laughs> it's a good move. We got this covered. We got this covered. Okay. We're tied again on material, and we're still attacking here. We need to push you off of this area. It's such a scary move. How do I... How do I resolve this? I don't know. I didn't think about this. I didn't think this through. I think I've made a mistake. I don't think that was the best move on the table for us. You take, I have to play something. We had to find a way. We had to find a way to, because otherwise, like, we let them get the checkmate so easily. So we have to, like, block that. It costs us another pawn. I don't know if you know this, but our king looks a little bit exposed as well. Put the pressure back on here. I mean, I, just let me play it. Dude, come on, just let me play it. I don't believe... Oh, I'm stupid? No, it's fine. We just go here. It, it's not... Fine is a relative term. It's not fine, but it's not that bad. <laughs> what? Saved? No, what? I, I, I'm actually bad. I'm actually officially bad at chess. I was like, I just want a free queen. That's where my brain immediately went to. I said to myself, nice, free queen. Turns out it is not a free queen in the slightest. This is our sticking point right now. We got problems. I think we need to push this down as fast as possible. We need to make a move like this. If you put me in check, so be it. I'll, I'll threaten you. I'll threaten you on the close file so you can't easily check me. You want to draw? I got 36 seconds left. It would, it would make my day. That's not a good move. <laughs> Officially a horrible move. However, oh no, it's so much worse than I thought it was. Never mind, it's okay. No, it's still horrendous. Trick him. Just start moving really fast to trick him to move really fast. What do I care? Okay, I'm in check. That don't impress me much. Let me guess. Okay, but what now? Okay. It's not checkmate. It's not quite enough. Interesting. How about something like that? That might be checkmate now that I think... No, it's not checkmate. Clearly not checkmate. How about something like this? I mean, I gotta go... I gotta go pretty fast. <laughs> I'm a, oh, not that. Okay. Hold on. One of those. I'm in check. Take my pawn. Makes a lot of sense, honestly. I can't really defend it. I guess I'll, I'll just do this. I don't know why, though. Thought maybe he would pre-move it. Okay, if I can't get it out there, then give me one of these. Six seconds, that's a problem. Huge pre-move, though. Did you see that pre-move? Bad situation for me. Huge. <laughs> ah! I don't know what to do. I was out of time. <laughs> okay, you beat me. Like, you beat me fair and square. I do feel like if you look at the graph on that one, that one will be a little up and down. I really, I'm so stupid. I thought I had his queen covered. Okay, you're playing a, uh, a Polish opening. The Gregorian variation. You know what I'm I wanted to play e5, so I thought knight to c6 makes sense to avoid. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I just threaten this. What happens if you play that? Do I care? Maybe I just do this. Now I'm still threatening it. You play that? What's going on? <laughs> this doesn't seem good for me, but it doesn't seem great for you either, honestly.
Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it is great for you. This seems like a good opportunity for a, a fee and keto, but we, uh, they got there first. Let's close it up. Put some pressure on this pawn. Maybe they forgot about it. Mm. Okay. Well, this is a rare opening. The Polish opening. Back in my day, you would not play this opening unless you were like a 1900. Probably. I don't know. I'm, I'm basically pulling that out of nowhere. Uh, I think my knight is horrendous. And I think your knight is a little better. I'm content with this trade. I'm also content with an en passant. If you want to en passant me, go ahead. You don't want to en passant me. Hmm. Interesting. A coward. Well... I wouldn't mind. I don't think they're going to do it, though. Well, they, I don't know. Maybe they will. They have to figure something out. I mean, I don't think that's any good. One of us is coming out of this with a completely busted pawn structure and no hope of a viable endgame. Now, is probably me. But evaluating the position, what do I like out of this? Well, right now, I like that I've, I'm on a bit of an open file. I like that I feel like my pieces are a little bit more developed. A little cautious. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run a little thread on the bishop here. I don't want to take this. They have double coverage. Okay. I had a feeling something like that was coming. Um, but it's, not, it's fine. Because what I'm hoping to do is play something like this. But first, I need to not have my queen. Like, does that even bother me? I would rather make you make a bad move. And then I can play this. Yeah, you play this to like x-ray me or whatever it's called. A discovered attack on the queen. I fall back to a7. No, you don't even want that. You don't even like that. Really? Because you're going to do the capture here instead. I understand. But like, if, okay, I take you here. I'm up a knight. You take me here. We're even. I take you here. I'm up a bishop. You take me here with the rook. It's not amazing. My king's pretty wide open. What can we do about it? Can you go anywhere useful? Not really. You're kind of impinging upon me right now. I mean, I feel like we can actually just... I don't really want you to be able to go here. Do I care? Maybe I don't care. Maybe I missed the... No, because you can't go there because of the rook. I think you just fall back. What's the reasoning for it? Okay, then you fall back. I could easily get you to move. It just screws up my pawn structure or something fierce. Now I think you take. I think you take and you get a pawn. After that incredibly complicated 1300 maneuver we just pulled, we're up a pawn. We did trade a knight for a bishop. And then it's, oh, you know what? It wasn't even a trade, really, because, or uh, it wasn't even a pawn, because now you take this pawn. But then your rook's kind of out here in no man's land. And I'm starting to feel a little bit more positive about my life. I see no, no complaints. No lies detected. I don't think you're going to play this. I don't think you got the stones to play that. We're going to start pushing something like this. I, here's another thing I like. My bishop, kind of good. Their bishop, kind of sussy. Let's try something like that. Interesting. It is interesting. I think we take. They take. I take. Now I'm up a pawn again. Watching for the back rank. It's, it's not going to happen right now. Now we're up a pawn. And our bishop is a lot better. But we're down a minute on time. That's the sort of thing that can, that can burn you a little. Okay, let's hope that they weren't paying attention. Maybe they just think they got the back rank and I don't know what I'm doing. Not a viable strategy in the world of chess, usually. But check this out. What about something like, oh, maybe that move would have just been better by default? Why don't I play this? Take, 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 take. It's like an equivalent exchange of material, but I prefer having the queen. And if they also prefer having the queen, then they move the queen. 
and we take the rook, which they're not going to do. So they're going to have to give up their queen for the rook and the bishop. It's not like a winning move, I think. I think the engine will be like, why didn't you just eke out like a cent upon advantage or something? Come on, there's got to be something better. I mean, no, this, this is insane. We just take the rook. Now we're up a rook. And what are you going to do? Swap queens? Okay, now, now we're up a rook. That's much better. And their bishop still sucks. So the next thing we do is trade rooks. Luckily, their rook is still, like, it's pinned to their king right now. Okay, so... I'm not really sweating this. I got to figure out how little I'm sweating it or how much I'm sweating it. We got to do better on time. That's a big one. You're going to move up? Don't, don't do it. I really want to get this rook out of here. Oh, you know what? Good move. However, now we got a problem because I'm still getting your rook. You're, we can trade for it if you want, or you could just give it to me. Minute 10, we got to make fast moves. But I think because we're up by a lot of material, there's a minimal chance of error here. They resigned. Okay. I think that's a reasonable move. One missed win, not a surprise. Zero blunders, kind of a huge surprise. Let me go to the game review real quick. I thought we did okay in this video. This wasn't that bad. All things considered, we had 82% accuracy. Nice win. You were never in trouble. Well, I kind of felt in trouble in the opening. <laughs> this is the last book move. They like it, by the way. I've played this 71 times. If I could do this over again, I think I would just play like D5 or... I don't know, probably not e6, but I would play like d5 or knight to f6. But what I didn't want to play is like knight to f6, then they play bishop to b... Like, I just don't feel comfortable playing against this stuff. So I'd, I, I'm, I wish I'd played more conservatively, but that's okay. Next key move. Now, things were like pretty basic for a bit here. They're like not a good move. You overlooked an opportunity to capture an undefended piece. They wanted me to just take the pawn. Makes a lot of sense. Never even crossed my mind. <laughs> They're like, this is close to equal, but you lost your advantage. I thought that was a solid move. Do they just want this? We, we did, we talked about, no, this makes their bishop way too good. That's a horrible move. They get a fork immediately. No? Okay, maybe it's not that. Okay, no, it's not really a fork because we take, they take, they take, they take, we take, or maybe they move. The, it, it's not that bad. It's not good, but it's not that bad. You lost your, your advantage. What do they want from me? I feel like this is engine territory where they want me to play like... Uh, like something like this. They like it. They still like it. But okay, I think we need a hint on this one. Yeah, that, remember when I said it's an engine move? Okay, h6. Maybe that's not an engine move, but it feels like an engine move. Okay, they like our position. It keeps getting better. They're like, what an amazing move. There was only one good move and you found it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. They did not really like this. In fact, I understand immediately why. They much prefer this pin because they can't lose. They can't get the bishop out of there. There's no, way, there's no way to respond. Like, what do they do after this? They, they have to play something like f4, right? King to g2. I take. They take. I mean, this is non-winnable. White cannot win this game, obviously. Well, I thought we played pretty well today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Having some fun playing chess. And I'll see you next time. See ya!